Well, hello there, my darlings. Happy Tuesday to all of you. Welcome to the final part of the Hocus Pocus Cottage. We're going to squeeze as much as we possibly can into one part and get the interiors done today. So we're inside the actual cottage today. We're going to do it in my own kind of imagination. I've seen a few reference images here and there as well. But we're going to make it look like a home. A home for three sister witches. Um, and that is what it's going to be today. Yes, it is indeed. Now, this week on the channel is going to be the final part of Let's Build Willow Creek. For Let's Build the Worlds. Um, which is going to be nuts. We've got one more small build to do. And there's not going to be any speed build this week. I was going to bring a speed build out. But to be honest with you, loves, I've just had a bit of a time at the minute. A bit of a crap time. You know, those days where you're just not feeling yourself. That is how I'm feeling right now. So I just don't have the time to try and squeeze in a speed build this week, I'm afraid. So we'll start Let's Build the Worlds this week. We'll probably continue that into next week as well. In fact, we definitely will. And um, I'll bring out some more Malfoy Manor as well. That's what will be happening. Yes, it will. So next week, I will definitely get the save file for Willow Creek up on the channel, including the overview video that I'm going to get kind of prepared and stuff as well. So yes, don't need to see anything else. Let's get into game and let's start bloody building. So here we are, my sweethearts, back at the Sanderson Sisters Cottage. A few little things changed from last time. I saw one of you guys said that you wanted to see like a little standing stone circle so i did that put some candles in there as well beautiful little well over there too but other than that i've left it as it is really i'm still gonna pop a tree back here because we need to get a tree in this little area here but for the minute i'm just gonna leave it open until we've decided on what we're doing um on the interiors and whatnot and then i'll get another tree going there so i've pulled out a few objects here and there that i think would work well i think i'm gonna use this as the book um, I think we're going to use this one here. And I can't find an eyeball. The only thing I could find was a cheese eyeball. So we're going to try and fashion this up. Maybe pop it up on this little thing here that I've pulled out from vampires. And put that cheese eyeball in the middle. <laughs> you know, you've just got to do these things sometimes. So, thoughts, plans, things, stuff. This is what we're doing today. We're going to make another cage. And put it there. Excuse me, I need to swallow then. Put it there. I think what I'm going to do is do the kitchen up on this level around here near the fireplace. Uh, yep, nice little kitchen going on there. Little living room moment slash kind of like magical potion study area. I've pulled out a few objects from Realm of Magic. And then upstairs we've obviously got... I'm just going to use this as a normal walkway. I'm just going to do that as a nice normal walkway all the way through there. And then we've obviously got the three little bedrooms for the sisters. So that is it. That's all I need to say. We're going to start doing this together, my darlings. Now, I, what I did with this one here, we're going to make another cage and we'll do this together. I don't, I can't remember if I used um, the tool mod for this. I don't, I think I might have, I, I don't, I think I moved it with the tool mod and that was it. But the rest of it, I just did, it was really, really simple easily. Um, Really, really simple easily. <sighs> yes, that's what I meant to say, yes. Oh, maybe I did size that up one more then. Oh, I did, yes. So that one's in the middle, this one, and then I tilted this one over to this side and sized that down as well. And I need to make sure this is perfectly in the middle because it wasn't last time and it just looked really weird. So that looks about right to me. Maybe like there, I need to go from all edges. Nope, it was right where it was. So like right about there. Okay. Okay. Why is that one bigger? Is that supposed to be like that? Who am I? But then that's really small. Oh, it's because of the height. It's the height in the middle. That's all. Let's escape that then and get back there. It... <laughs> what was that noise? What was that? Oh, it's because of the terrain. The terrain's lifted there. Right, let's try and do you here instead then. So come along. Come along. There we go. Lop you to there as well. There we go. That's better. I was wondering why it was like that. And I was like, no, it's because it's higher there. Then I was like, no, it's not. No, it's not a date. Um, but how are you lot doing? I hope you all had lovely weekends. Mine was okay. It was uh, a bit boring. Tom was at work. And I just felt a bit crap. You know, those like days where you just feel like shit. And I just felt crap. Just felt crap. And I'm still feeling a bit like that now. Still feeling a bit crap about not, nothing in particular either. And not necessarily 
always needs to be something that you need to feel crap about. You just need to understand that you're humans. You have these emotions. Um, don't shy away from them. Um, which I don't. I don't shy away from them. And I'm not scared to talk about them either. I don't think enough people dwell. Not, never used to anyway. But people don't talk about their feelings very much. And I think that they should. I think that you should. It's an important thing just to know that sometimes everybody has those days where they feel a bit crap and a bit shit about anything it doesn't oh god that's smaller isn't it yes it is it's so much smaller um well, well we'll keep chatting about that as we're doing this so is it that big yeah it is that big oh god we've got to do this all the way down now as well but yeah like people just have those days and i'm having that i've had a last few days i've just felt crap and i've done i've been doing lots of meditation lots of yoga been out took blue on a massive walk um myself on a massive walk as well i think we like hiked about well it's not massive about six miles um i've no idea how many how much that is in kilometers or whatnot but yeah those kind of things just doing those little things to try and help when you're feeling a bit crap you know and, and i think it really really does it really really does um and it it kind of helps get rid of the worst of those feelings if you know what i mean you still end up feeling a little bit shit. you will you're human but I think it just helps that you try and rectify those by means of exercise or seeing a friend or just just little things. You know, watching one of your favorite movies, that kind of like business, you know. And yeah, I just wanted to say that. Just wanted to say that I've been feeling a little bit shit, loves. Been feeling a little bit shit. Why are you not moving with me? There we go. Moved it. Right now I need to elevate this, I think. I think I'll do. Let me see why you go over one. No, that's not right. I'm going to do an extra three as well then. Oh, God, that's too high. Let's do a minus two. Oh, God, not m maybe a minus two there. Just see where that goes. And then elevate it. Maybe that we could have done with a one then, to be honest. Yeah, that's perfect. Perfect. And then untoggle those. Um. Yeah, we'll get out of that. I'm trying to think in my head. Is that the good spot for it there? I think it is because they were kind of next to each other. Yes, we'll use that. And then I use this light pole or rope, whatever you want to call it, um, from the toddler pack. I think this was from weird object that like festoon lights in a toddler pack. I never, ever got the reasons why they did that. But, you know, sometimes it just comes. To, I can't see if that's at the right height or not. Sometimes it just comes down to being Sims, you know, you know. Right. OK. And then one more as well. One more is. One more here, and I think that should suffice quite nicely. Maybe one or two. I can't see. Nope, that's at the right height. Okay, and then I'm going to put that directly in the middle there. Lovely. There we go. I use like a plate and a few of those little arches. And I just think that really, <laughs> that looks cool. Quite simple, actually. Quite a simple little thing. That green box of death is going to do my fucking head in because it's going to stay there now. But, um, you know, what more can be said? Oh, that pole disappears. And that one doesn't. Oh, well. Oh, well. What more can we do? Anyway, so cauldron. I want the cauldron kind of like maybe around here, actually. Now that I've got those two in. Yeah, we'll put the cauldron there. We're going to do the spell book right next to the cauldron, I think. So they can read their spells out as they're doing that. Right, we're going to get you. I like you at that um, size. But what I need to do now is whiffle this up into this position up here. Maybe like around about there-ish. Let me see that. Yeah, that's going to have to be moved anyway. But um, let me try and tilt this now. That looks like a 45 degree angle to me. Um, rotate. Perfect axis there as well. 45 degrees. Oh, yeah, that's going to be perfect, isn't it? That's going to be perfect. Um, okay, let's get out of here. Get out of the tool mod. And I think what I can do is maybe, like, lift up there. Let me see that. One more. One more. Oh, oh, that's perfect. Yes. Excuse me. Trying to get you on the edge there. Just to hide as much as we can of that book underneath. Oh, that's perfect. And then let's get that big cheese eyeball. <laughs> I'm so sorry about this. It's the, it's 
the only thing. It's the only thing that looks semi-okay, to be honest. Um, and there's no point anybody going, oh, but you could have used this because this build is going to be on the gallery by the time I finish this today. So it will already be up there, but I appreciate your help nonetheless. All right, let's put that eyeball there. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I really am. I really am, but isn't that wonderful? Yes, it has a date. Right, okay, what I'm going to do here, I really want to put this on a table or something. So let me find something that I think the black flame candle would sit on quite nicely. Okay, this is what we're going to do, I think. I think I'm going to use this. Ignore that green box of death. It's just there annoyingly. Uh, I'm going to flop you to around about there, I think. Yes. And then I'm going to try. Let me get you on top of this table first. Hopefully this will work. I've sized down the, um, the vampire pedestal and I'm hoping... I can like overlap these two somehow just so it looks a little bit more special being on top there as well with the wood going in oh those legs are gonna poke through i don't want that come on work with me sheila work with me i'm sad <laughs> me this whole weekend <laughs> what if i did that will they be floating i mean that looks quite magical but i might size it down actually and then move the black flame candle down now that i've done now that i've sized this down i think this needs more of a moment like maybe like that let me see yes but it needs to be in the middle it does it needs to be in the middle uh, i don't like it <laughs> don't like it i don't know i don't like that that's better I didn't the table lifted just looks really weird so what I did was size the table down and just made like a little like I don't know decorative moment underneath of the black flame candle and I like that I do I like that that is absolutely making me fume that green box but we can't do nothing about that just yet no we can't right anyway so we've got a cauldron going on here I would like some stone underneath of this cauldron now will the rug from the star wars pack work in here this one here i had in mind let me see you oh it does oh it does indeed oh yes indeed yes we're doing it yes we're indeed okay flopping that underneath yep i think i might need to maneuver that to like there that's better oh it does work doesn't it don't know about you loves but i'm into that absolutely into that i am yep yep happy with that perfect place for a bookcase over here wondering what bookcase we can use to be honest with you maybe sticking in with the realm of magic vibe now i know the wood tones are a lot warmer oh this could work as well um if i size it down that could work in here too that doesn't look as messy as what i would want it this could work too oh that does look good in here as well that does look good. Will you fit in there a dream? Oh, it does. Oh, yes. Yes, we'll flop that one into there. We'll flop that one into there. I'm here for it. Yes, I am indeed. Now, I do think that we need some kind of something like this. But oh, maybe I could use a desk, actually. I could use the desk from Realm of Magic here, couldn't I? Uh, like this one. The, the only problem is the wood is a lot warmer than what's in here, but I'm going to do it anyway. We'll flop this into here. Oh, I'm into that. Yeah, I do like that there, actually. I didn't think I was going to, but I do. And I don't think I'm going to do a usable seat. I think I'll do like a little puffet or something underneath of it. Yes, we'll go for that puffet, but I've sized it down. I've sized it down just so it looks like they could pull that and sit and do some like spells and stuff up on here. Now, what I need to get out are some bits and bobs to decorate this place up. Okay, we've got loads of stuff out here. Something that just makes sense for the storyline as well of Hocus Pocus. So we've got the Tome of Immortality, and I've also got an Immortality Potion out as well. Let's get some, like, potion-y ingredients. I've brought out this little, like, crystal globe thingy just because I thought it looked really nice here. So that's what I've done. And I've also got out some herbs on the wall here. Uh, and I've also, oh, please just let me plot this wherever I want. Um, and I've also pulled out a wand box. So hopefully I can get this wand box up here as well. No, I can't. 
No, it's not letting me take the box. Give me the box. Give me the box. Maybe I could like lift it up with the nine key here rather than having to go through. Maybe I can plot that to there. <gasps> oh, that goes on there perfectly. Yes, I do enjoy that. I do enjoy that indeed. And I think what I'll do around here is put up some cobwebs just underneath. Just underneath the... Can I size you down? No, you can't size these down. I, I should remember that, but I never do. I never do. Where are you going? Oh, you're kind of going diagonally. That would work actually for me. Let's do you like to around there. Yes. Oh, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And don't, I don't know why, but I'm feeling putting some shoes underneath of this table for some reason. So maybe it's something that looks quite witchy. The, the stillies. <laughs> the stillies don't really, but I think I'm going to do that anyway. Maybe I can hide them under the stairs. Yeah, I'll hide the other ones under the stairs. And just put a pair of, pair of little booties there. I can't see what I'm doing here. Get in there. Yeah, there we go. I mean, you can't really see that, but as long as I know the details there, absolutely fine with it. Absolutely fine with it indeed. Yeah, that's cute. I like that little area. Like that little area indeed. Um, What do I want to do here? I might do some more brooms by the door. I've put one outside here, but I might actually do a couple more by the door here as well. So, um, <laughs> why, did I, why did I eyedrop a wand then? I want, I want the broom. There we go. The gnarled wooded broom. If I plop one just by the door there. Yeah, that looks cute. That looks cute indeed. I do think we need some more cobwebs over this side though. Because there was lots of cobwebs from my memories. Um, of, oh, I, can't, I don't know why I'm trying to size it up. I literally just said that and I've just tried to do it again. <sighs> no idea. No idea. Let's put some cobwebs by the door here. Maybe just skirting into the curtain there as well so it doesn't look too repetitive. Yeah, I think so. No, I don't know. Let's just do... No. <laughs> no. No, Shanton won't. And I'm going to do this here up here as well. That on the ceiling it is. Yes. Yes, indeed. Okay. I'm kind of happy with how that area is looking. Kind of happy with how that area is looking. Um, I think what we'll do is move on to maybe the living area. The living area and kind of like little potions room. Okay. I've actually decided to put a fireplace in here as well. Now, just cut into the curtains a little bit, which is annoying me. But I might whiffle them across, actually. Just slightly like that, so it kind of covers those windows. Um, Yeah. Yeah, no, I like that. Yeah, I do. And I'm thinking the best and only, really. So for that, we'll kind of match in with this room. Um, It was a toss-up between these ones here, the base game ones, or the... um the realm of magic ones i just think these ones just look a little bit more magical so i'm gonna use them yes i am the only problem with that is we're not gonna be able to get any maybe i should do love seats instead now there's the thought darlings i think i'm gonna do love seats instead so surfaces not surfaces comfort this one and then i'm gonna go down and try and find them this way there they are in the brun i think the brun looks nice Oh, excuse you very much. Um, why has that one got pattern on and the other one hasn't? Is there another brown version? Or is it just because Sims? It's just because Sims. What do you expect, you know? What do you expect from this game now? In fact, oh, I kind of like the three-seater. I like the three-seater there. Maybe I could put like the two-seater like around about there. And then there's a gap then so they can walk through. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. I'm going to whiffle you to a roundabout there. Unsure at what I'm going to be putting back here yet. I've pulled out all of these three. I don't think this one works in here for some reason. I think what I'm going to do is use this one. I know it's very dark in here, but I like that. I've, I heard someone say, like, I can't see what you're doing. And when I look back on my recordings, it looks fine. So maybe you just need to turn the brightness up on your monitor or something, darling. I don't know. I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't know, but it's, it's all right. You'll be okay. You'll be fine. You'll be absolutely fine. Oh, yeah, I like it in that way. So if I whiffle you into there like that. Yes, that's a nice little moment there. I do like that. And we'll put that one just there. It would be nice to have another desk in here, really. Would have been nice to have another desk in this area. 
I may do another desk and not use the one from Realm of Magic. We'll do a different one. Let's do that. So let's get a nice old looking kind of like ornate desk in here. That one there's probably winning so far. And uh, let me just have a little whiffle through with my eyes. No, I think that one's going to be the one. <gasps> oh, that one doesn't come in good colors, though. That would have been nice. That would have been nice. I don't like it in the black in this room, though. Or this one. Let me see what you would look like in here. Oh, that one's not too bad either. Let me see. Let me see. Right, so it's a toss-up between those two. That one there is probably a little bit more ornate. And it's got like, yeah, we'll do that one. I kind of like that colorway as well. But I think we'll just go for the plain, yeah, more along the lines of that one. That one there would suit it a little bit more, I think. And I can put the desk directly behind the sofa area here. Let me see what that looks like from that way. Yes. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And then I'm going to whiffle this across a little bit more here. Like that. I'm going to put a shy flame there. And lighting. And then I'm going to put a lovely little shy flame in if I can find it. There she is. Yeah, hopefully I can whiffle you into that shape there right about there i mean that would burn through the wood but it's just the sims it's fine yeah that looks cute i do like it in black as well i didn't think i was going to but i i do i do yes yeah i do like that yeah that's cute okay so what we need in here now are some more rugs i do want to put a chair here this time and i think thinking maybe using the um vampire one in the dark brown hopefully that could work oh it does work yeah okay right we'll put that and we'll do some more detailing on that in a minute what i need to pick is a um a coffee table for in here coffee table and maybe an old battered rug as well we all know the rug i'm going to choose because it's the rug of absolute dreams um and there she is <laughs> the rug that i use in any build no matter what it is i just i just love this rug i really do i'd love to see more rugs in this kind of like distressed state i really would really really would and the colorway goes nice in here as well which i'm all for to be honest all for and then a nice coffee table probably gonna go for the get together one maybe in like a dark brown. I know we've used like warmer browns here and there, but I'm not really looking at matching the wood sop, to be honest with you. Yes. Yes, I do like that. I'm not going to put anything on that coffee table, though. I'm going to put some candles around the uh, fireplace itself. And I think I'll use the ones from vampires. I think that would really work in here. Um, Not vampires, dine out. Oh, God, I thought they were from vampires. Oh, they were from vampires but they're not yes i do like that no i don't want one up there i just want one each side here and i'm going to change the colors of these actually i'm going to do I'm going to do some pink i think let me see let me see what the pink would look like in here no that kind of clash is too much against it so maybe red instead red and green no i don't like that either red and blue Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, because that kind of like matches in with that candle over there as well. It just gives us a bit of a spooky dooky vibe going on, you know. You know, I'm here for it, loves. Absolutely here for it. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is looking nice. I do like. Right, what I want to do now is I've put some like green. Oh, that one there's not in properly. I've put some like green stains and stuff around. I do want to start using some of these in here as well. So maybe I'll do one of those like underneath of the fireplace yep is that right it is like that let's get some more of those corner pieces out as well um like these it just brings a bit of detail in doesn't it a bit of detail and a little tiny splash of color just over everything which i'm here for really am and i do think i need to get another sconce over this side i need to get a sconce over this side uh, and I'm not going to cool down the lights. I'm going to keep it quite warm in here, actually. Quite warm. Oh, yeah, I do like it. I do like that. 
Yes. And then obviously to finish off, we need to do some cobwebs, don't we? Need to do some cobwebs. So where would be a good place for one? Oh, one there, definitely. One up there, darling. And then can I get the floor one? There's the floor. Maybe I could do that in that corner there. Yeah, that's better. Oh, yes. I do want, I'd love something up there. Let me try. Maybe I could put that skull head. That's from, um, what are you from? The Star Wars pack. Maybe I could do this. Can I size this up? Wouldn't it poke through? <laughs> yeah, that looks great. <laughs> that looks great. Now, what I need to do is knock out this wall behind it just so I can lift this up on six items moved to inventory what do you mean six items moved to inventory oh was it all of that wait there let me see oh no 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 just want to get rid of the wall love and if it moved to the inventory no it hasn't all right can i just get the wall there we go just the wall thank you just the tip <laughs> right <laughs> now, how big are you would this look weird Yes, it would. It's far too big. I think it would look good with just that size, though. Yes, it does. It does indeed. It does indeed. I'd love to put some more of these. Like, Why is that a snap point up there? Why would you do that? <sighs> well, forget I said anything there. I was going to put some candles up on the side, but I'm not going to bother now. Not going to bother because the Sims team need a serious talking to. Yes, they do. Right, we'll get rid of those behind there. I'm going to do the same here as well. Yeah, does that come in any other colours? No, it doesn't. Okay, that's fine. Yes, that's fine. Oh, and it's got rid of wallpapers in here as well. Anyway, what I want to do now is move on to the kitchen. So kitchen-wise, I think this kitchen from the cottage stuff kit pack or whatever it's called. <laughs> no idea. Um, We're going to use this one because it's got that dark vibe to it. Uh, and I just think it would match in. Now, placement, I haven't tested anything. But we're going to try and just whiffle it into shape and see what happens here. Now, can I put like a little end piece on the end on there? Oh, you can look right near the fireplace as well. I'm into that. Yes. And then oven wise, I think we'll go for the kind of that this one here in that kind of like dark aesthetic as well. We've got going on. I'm into it. I am. I'm very much here for it. Yes. Uh, I think we'd have to do the same here as well. Maybe put a fridge on that side. Uh, there, I'll whiffle you into shape round about there. I'm going to flop a bin here. Now, I didn't even realise, but my favourite bin's been recoloured, loves. Ah! My favourite bin's been recoloured and I'm very much for it. There's loads and loads of lovely little swatches of that as well. I'm very, very much into it. Um, so we're going to have to put a sink by this window here. Do I want to use the sink that goes with this pack? Isn't it like a separate one? It is, look. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, it is, but it doesn't come in a matching brown swatch. Hang on a second. What are you from? Are you from Cottage Living? You're from Cottage Living. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I was just like, we haven't got a matching sink. The Sims team, once again, just about to get bitchy. And it's my own um, fault with that one. Now, where's this matching sink? There she is. This one here. Can I flop you into there? Oh, we can. And I use the dark wooden um, fridge as well. Let's get rid of all debug and live edit now because I've got too many things to look through. Yes. Lovely. Oh, yes, indeed. Cute. I'm thinking maybe. Hmm. It almost makes me want to pull this out slightly more there. Let me just see. Seven items moved to inventory. Not with my deletion protection on, darling. <laughs> um. Right, those need to come down. So can we just, can you just get down to a level, please? Thank you. There's no reason for you to stick through the ceiling. Reasons being here. Oh, God, I don't like that. No, no, I'm not doing that. Not doing that. I was. I wanted room for a table up there. Ah, oh, I don't know. It would work, though, wouldn't it? What about if I did, like, a little... Let me just have a little play. There we go. There we go. I just changed the shape of this slightly. Uh, and I prefer, I prefer it now. Prefer it to that square moment. Yes, I do. 
I do like it. It's got a little moment going on there. And I'm for, I'm for a moment. You must know me by now. So we're going to put a nice dining room table there. But what I think I need to do... You're very low. Can I, like, lift you up? Why were you so low? Why are you so low? <laughs> like me at the minute. <laughs> Why are you so low? I don't know. I just am. Um, and I'm accepting it. I'm accepting it. <laughs> but don't worry. You don't need to worry about me or anything, guys. I promise I'm fine. As I said, it's just, it's important to feel those feelings sometimes. You know, it is very important to feel those feelings. Uh, to never feel ashamed if you feel a bit sad or you don't know why you're feeling sad, which is what, how I'm feeling at the minute. Um, Just kind of accept them and kind of like try and move on. You know, that's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to do, and I'm fine with that. I very much am. Yeah, let's get this all across all across here. And I'm going to do one more little one there as well. Let me see this. Yeah, that's cute. I do like that. Yeah, I'd like that little kitchen moment up here. And I think it would look lovely with a nice table with a tablecloth on it. Um, do we need to go dark with the tablecloth, or can I pull in a colour? Probably pull in, pull in a little bit of red or something. Maybe not flowers. That's a bit too happy, isn't it? A bit too happy for the Sanderson sisters. And that one's a bit too red, I think. No, it's not. I like that. Yeah, and we'll do that. And we'll just put three chairs out for the sisters. The sisters. Um, and probably... Chair. I don't know what chairs to use. So let me have a little look. We'll just go for these base game ones. These base game ones, I think, would work really well. So I'll pull out three of those little buggers there. Oh, yes, I like it. I do like that. I kind of feel we need a rug up here as well now. Mm. Now, I know we haven't got any. Oh, I could use the wicker one. Wicker, wicker. Don't ever do that again. Um, Maybe I could use this one here. Oh, that's bigger. A bit big, that. I could size it up with a tool mod. I don't like that colorway, but it can't be anything too bright. What's the green one like? Let me see the green one. Oh, that one would be perfect. And maybe if I size this one up, Maybe 1.3. See what that one there comes out to. Oh, that's perfect. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. Yeah, I'm into that. Absolutely into that. Don't think we're going to put any sconces up here because I kind of like how moody it looks up here. It's kind of cute. I think, however, I am going to pull in a shy flame over this side as well. I'm going to plop one there. Like there-ish. Oh, yes. And another one in that area there. Let me see that. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. And then cobwebs galore going on here. Cobwebs galore. Um, they do eat. Sometimes it's little children. But, um, you know. You know. You know. We're just going to leave it at that, you know. Just going to leave it at that. Yeah, I do enjoy. So they've got everything they would need wouldn't they, if they would come and live here. They would. So, But I just need to pull out some objects for the sides, I think. Some decorative pieces. So let me go and do that. Okay, I've pulled out a few bits. A few bits. A little teapot for them all to have a little bit of tea on. Um, herbology books. Some potions, a cauldron. Um, some herbs, some scales, some spices and all things. Um, not nices, to be honest. Now, I've been thinking. I don't think I'm going to get time to be able to do the bedrooms in this part. So I think there's going to be another part. <laughs> I know I said this is going to be the final part. But I just I just want to keep adding more to this place. I really do. I want to keep adding more to it. But I like it. I like how it looks. I like the vibe in here. I like the layout as well, to be honest with you. Um, but I know I'm not going to be able to get the, all of this done in one big part today. So expect another part of this coming out. Probably the day after Halloween will probably be the last one, the Monday. Um, and we'll finish off the bedroom and all of the bedrooms and all of the upstairs and whatnot. And then I'll do a nice big video tour with the Sanderson sisters living in here as well. I think that would be the way to do it. Yes, it would indeed. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to leave this part here today. So, we did quite a bit. We did quite a bit. I'm happy with the, how the vibe is looking in this place. It really is. I really is. Um, I'm going to say goodbye on this screen as well. Um, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow with, uh, episode... Oh, we're going to start Let's Build the Worlds tomorrow. We're going to start 
the last build, the Airbnb place that we're going to build together. Um, so be on the looks out for that. Be on the looks out for that. Also, I am live on Twitch tonight playing a horror, a new horror game that just came out from, is it the Dark Pictures Mythology? Um, House of Ashes, which is a really, really great, well, looking game. Um, so if you want to come and join me, 7pm GMT. And if not, I will see you all tomorrow. Now, everybody keep smiling. I'm going to try my best too. Onwards. Goodbye.